It is the 12th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start on Scott.net tonight. El Hero underwater volcano eruption in photos. Uh, so they've gone down and they're taking pictures of uh, the new volcano erupting off the south end of the island. Uh, they got a fear piece. Canada could expect massive earthquake at any time. Uh, 4.2 earthquake in western Montana. It was uh, pretty shallow, 7.5 miles deep, 12.1 kilometers. And uh, where was that? About 13 miles southeast of Clinton, Montana. And the hurricane hunters to fly into Tropical Storm Sean. Uh, they say they like to fly into them uh, when they're going to hit land, and it's definitely going to swing towards Bermuda. Uh, though it's not expected to come in towards the United States, but they're going to go check it out anyway. Uh, very late in the season. Uh, U.S. colored clouds over Nebraska. Auroras in Nebraska are rare, but who needs auroras when you've got iridescence? A University of Nebraska freshman, Emin Lutz, took pictures of colored clouds over Omaha on the morning of November 10th. Uh, and these look very much like Kembo's, if you if you know what a Kembo is, uh, that's from the chem trailing, um, all the chemicals and metals that they're pouring into the air. Um, what I wanted to quote in here is, uh, I'm no optics expert, said Ludes, but I'm guessing the colors were particular vivid since the clouds were newly formed and therefore likely to have water droplets of similar similar shape and size. It was incredible how distinct the bands of colors were, even when zoomed in at 300 millimeters. And again, um, uniform shapes um, is definitely interesting. Oklahoma struck by the biggest November tornado on record. Uh, apparently the tornado that touched down in Tipton earlier this week was upgraded yesterday uh, to an EF4, which makes it one of the strongest November tornadoes on record. Uh, International Atomic Agency reports unusual radiation concentrations in Europe. Um, apparently, there. I'll, I'll cover that when I get down to the end the, at the end of the night. But it's definitely something that's going on. Villages deluged from villages deluged with ash from Indonesia's Merapi eruption now fear for their lives. And the big eruption that happened last year, uh, they still have those just feet and feet and feet of ash through these valleys and stuff and uh, it's in the rainy season and they are definitely uh, experiencing impact this week for sure mud flows and that affects their crops and everything else uh, evolving unraveling the enigma of the moon's exosphere so uh, apparently they get the mystery of the lunar ionosphere. Now this is the first time I've heard about this. Uh, how can the world, how can a world without air have an ionosphere? Somehow the moon has done it. Lunar researchers have been struggling with this mystery for years, and they may have finally found a solution. Uh, that's off of spaceweather.com. Uh, Middle East tensions rising as chance of conflict increases. The war sabers are saddling, uh, rattling, of course. Um, Iran and Israel, of course. They have videos attached and all over the place. Large asteroid zips past Earth and Moon without incident. Now this is the YU-55 uh, that passed not too very long ago. And, um, well apparently it was the, the it's the biggest flyby we've had uh, this close to Earth in, in at least 200 years. And again, they're very excited about it because they got a chance to see it come in and the kind of thing. And uh, there's all kinds of stories going on about YU-55. And... Ah, authorities close Egyptian pyramids to November 11th New Age ceremonies. Uh, Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities closed the Great Pyramids on Friday after protest protesters said various groups, among them Jews, planned to attend a numerologist ceremony in the Gaza Plateau. Uh, Egyptian media report that some of the Egyptians feared that the event would be used by Jewish nations to reclaim the pyramids as ancient Hebrew structures. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and of course, uh, they closed the pyramids, so who knows what went on. 
end up. Crazy. And uh, of course, the beach is closed on El Hero due to uh, the volcanic gas threat. Uh, over to the RSOE. Uh, still got flooding in Vietnam. Uh, El Hero. So we got some flooding in Uganda. A forest fire in Montana, Sweetgrass County. And that is about new uh, climate change. No, 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 wait a minute. Uh, you remember how, like yesterday, I, I reported that that they, they've proven that uh, fracking, um, this the natural gas drilling called uh, process they call the uh, fracking, or hydraulic fracturing, uh, was causing the earthquakes. Uh, I got another story. Links between hydraulic fracturing and groundwater contamination. Early results from uh, the University of Texas at Austin study of hydraulic fracturing and groundwater contamination suggests that there's no direct link between the fracturing and contamination. Problems of contamination are instead related to other parts of drilling and well management process such as leaking casings, failed cement jobs, and above ground spills. <coughs> and uh, they, of course they got contractors doing all this stuff at the lowest bid, right? But that's uh, geology news, I will attach that below. Now over to energy news, um, or enenews.com. Uh, just in iodine-131, now detected in Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary, Germany, Sweden, Slovakia, um, and other countries as an indicator of nuclear chain reaction just 10 days after criticality, criticality, criticality talk at Fukushima. I remember when I was telling you they found these, um, these gases, the, the iodine-131, uh, a little over a week ago out of Fukushima. And uh, now they are detecting um, this radiation in Europe. So it's already gone past the United States with no warning whatsoever. Uh, and that uh, got some more trouble going on in Idaho. Uh, weapons grade plutonium at location of Idaho, Idaho sodium fire just days after director of the complex says hazards were not thoroughly understood and controls were not properly in place. So we have a major fire in the same place where they had that nuclear accident in Idaho um, not too long ago. Uh, emergency responses continue. All employees at complex ordered to remain inside buildings. Worker hospitalized with burns. And uh, the United States nuclear industry reports explosions at Fukushima units 1, 3, and 4 may have caused inventory or nuclear rods to be lost from spent fuel pools. Debris on ground near unit 3 was extremely radioactive after the blast. And if you've seen any of the pictures, of course you have, just how major that MOX filled plutonium reactor uh, when it detonated. And that's about all I got for you tonight. Uh, I know it's a little chaotic, but uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.